Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Kieran and welcome to yet another trailer reaction video. Yeah, this one's going to get a uh, get an intro because the past three videos I've done has been purely trailer reactions without any sort of intro or any sort of dialogue whatsoever except for just me reacting to something. But today, I was eating my dinner. I was sitting here eating my dinner, watching a movie, watching Captain America Civil War because I was bored. And I was just scrolling through Twitter and what do I see? What do I see indeed? I see an official reveal trailer for Fallout London. Now this mod I have been waiting for for a long time. I covered it on the channel like, what, two years ago? If even two years ago? I don't know, I think it was 2019 when I first initially covered the mod. And it, yeah, I ever since then I've been waiting for a trailer because... Follow Miami's got a trailer, Cascadia's got a trailer, Cascadia, a mod that we barely see anything on has got a trailer. So like, Fallout London, we have seen gameplay sn like snippets from their whole behind the scenes sort of thing, or their monthly updates, or quarterly updates, whatever they want to call it. So I've been just sitting here waiting for like an actual trailer, and I was just so tempted to just be like, hey guys, do you want me just to make a trailer? Because I've been making Fallout trailers recently, I will make one for you, I can't say I'm good at it, but um, I will definitely try. Yeah, great, I, like, I think it's really good that they dropped the trailer right now, because E3 season, man, E3 season, Kieran is on a roll with the whole uh, with the whole trailer reaction thing, may as well hit out with one more that's a bit more relevant to the channel. So fuck it, let's do it, let's react to some Fallout London, shall we? Starting out like Fallout 3, was that a Tesco bag I seen? <laughs> I need to go back and look at that, I think that was a Tesco bag. I also love the aspect uh, ratio there. Oh man, this looks so different. That's why I'm so excited for London. Because like... We never got to see... This. London, 2237. It's called Blimps. I always said the sun had never set on the Empire. But now, most of old Blighty is a shell of his former self. Or to get buildings. Radiation field nightmares. Fuck. Oh, I like that. That's so cool. I love that. That shot as well is so cool. The fuck is that guy? That reminds me of like a... Yeah, I was about to say, that reminds me of like a World War One sort of thing. We like the trenches. Of course, there's pigeons. Listen, the whole of Blight is up for right now. Nobody's heard from Her Majesty for ages, and frankly, people are crying crying at hearing the gentry's orders. Isn't the Queen in this? Oh, they've actually got a working subway? Oh, that'd be cool. That would be really cool. So who's to play for? Oh, the clock actually works. out there wants a part of the pie. The question is, who will it be? The last vagabonds of London's gutter? The fascist pamphleteers in the fifth column, or the Camelot Knights of days Ooh, past. Ooh, what the Maybe fuck is that? Hunter the bridge. You just need to open your eyes and have a good just about China. Of course, there's uh... the sun's about to set. Ah, oh, not me, old China. I'll let you into a little secret though. Whilst the location might have changed, war. 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 <laughs> war. <laughs> Oh, look at that logo. The logo's looking so uh, very more, um, very more, a lot more crisp. Oh damn, I was hoping for like just a cut to music and just montage, montage, montage. That was a really good trailer actually, it was good to like just set the tone. But fucking hell, hang on, let me just like, uh, let me just put this on mute. And we'll go, is that a Tesco bag? I'm pretty sure that was a Tesco, yeah it was, no, it was a... Uh, it was a something bag. Definitely Tesco though. Do you think I wouldn't see that? Do you think do you, you, you think I wouldn't recognise a Tesco bag? Jeez, I just seen one earlier today. <laughs> but yeah, this mod looks insane. Like this mod um just looks absolutely crazy. Of course I'm excited about it because it takes place in the UK, which is just completely different uh to the States. But I don't know, it's just like 
I have been personally hoping for a more diverse and just a I don't know, it's just basically just like an entirely different locale for Fallout because I feel like with Fallout in the US locations sort of seem the samey. Of course with 76 like um, there was a lot more wilderness and there was a lot more of um, different biomes and stuff like that but when it, came, when it came to like Fallout 4 and the mods in that game and all the new land mods as well they all felt very similar I know they were all different. They were all very different. Like, Cascadia has a lot more trees. Um, Miami has a lot more sunshine and a lot more beaches. But, I don't know. They all had the American feel to it. Of course, with all, all, with all the mods being set in America, of course that would uh, be the feel of it. But, I don't know. I wanted something more like this, where it was just so much more foreign. In terms of Fallout, anyway, like obviously to me, I've been to London, so I'm really excited to go around uh, the post-apocalyptic London and see how they recreated certain areas. Um, it's been a few years since I've been to London, so I'm not going to remember everything like off the top of my head, but I do remember the major locations. So it's going to be interesting going uh, going there. But yeah, there's so many like different factions and different locations. There's I don't know, like even locations as well, like. They seem so... Like, you can tell, like, each area has its own feel to it. Each area has its own, um, like, tone and theme. Which is really cool. I'm very excited to play, or at least interact with, like, the knight sort of faction. Uh, I don't know, like, the names and all that are fading out my memory right now. Um, but I know there's a lot of details over on the Fall London Discord. But, man, there's so much, like, there's so much to this mod... It's insane. Like, it's absolutely insane. The trailer is a bit laggy, but that's fine because, again, it's an entirely new, massive, ambitious mod, so I'm not going to expect um, 60 FPS or anything like that. That's fine. Don't worry about it. But, um, yeah, but just looking at it, like, even just looking at that one shot there of, like, the, um, the British flag, because there's so many British flags down in London. My God. Like, there was a shop I walked past where there was a guy... Um, uh, there was a guy wearing the big top hats, and literally the show it was just one of those tourist shops where it was just plastered with like British shit. <laughs> so it's just um, it's just funny to see that in Fallout. It's funny to see Buckingham Palace in Fallout. I cannot wait to explore that game, um, that location, and interact with all the uh, characters in there. The, the I think the biggest the biggest surprise I got from this trailer. There's a lot of cool shots, but the biggest surprise, because I don't know if they announced this, at least this is new information to me anyway, is the subway. The, the seeing the subway in action is really cool. I hope it is actually um, a consistent thing. Maybe there's like a quest and you have to like repair the subway and then you get the subway up and running and that's how you get to all the different like regions of London. Because London's massive. London is absolutely massive, and take, like taking a subway there is the most efficient way instead of driving or going down the streets and stuff like that. And yeah, it's just um, I don't know. It's just really cool. It's just really cool to see. Like, there's also some areas that are very um, very uh, residential as well that I've seen, which I like. That I'm glad it's not just like a massive city. <laughs> you know, <laughs> of course, like a lot of it is the city, but there's a lot of like breathing room as well in some of the locations which is really cool but man i'm really excited for this mod i'm really really <laughs> excited for this mod um i just can't i don't know i just can't wait to like just play it i cannot wait to be in that world space like the quest and the characters are going to be really cool but it's just the world space in general i really want to just go in and just like mess around in and just explode in general but yeah i don't know if there's anything else in this trailer obviously there's probably going to be like a million different secrets to this trailer that i just haven't spotted yet but um yeah i don't know it just looks cool it just looks absolutely fantastic and i really hope this mod is fantastic i really hope it is i really hope it comes out well there's no you know controversial team members that ruins and taints the entire project because no one overlooks their work in a certain way. I wonder what I'm referencing there. <laughs> but yeah, like, I don't know, it's just... 
it's just it's just a really cool mod. I can't wait for it. I think it's going to be really good. And if you're watching this for the first time and you're like, oh my god, Fallout London? Yeah, you should go check it out. I'm going to leave the um, Discord down below as well. You can go check out the Fallout London Discord. Nice people over there. I know uh, I know a few of them. Uh, and yeah, it's just it's just a really cool mod. I can't wait to play it. I, I really can't wait to play it. Um, even the animations as well. Like, uh, the pigeons. The pigeons look great. <laughs> But yeah, that is me for this video. This, this is me for my random trailer reaction I did not know I was going to do today. Because today I'm actually hard at work in a lot of stuff. I am working... I'm doing a lot of cool things. I'm actually like... Oh, I can't talk about anything. Yeah, I can't talk about anything. <laughs> but, um, I'm working on a lot of cool things. So I'm going to go back to work. But... Thank you for stopping by, thank you for watching the video, and uh, I guess I'll uh, see you all guys later. I'm going to be trying to do a brand new, um, a brand new follow video soon, follow mod video soon, of like under the radar mods that you might not know about, so keep an eye out for that. But for the moment, I think that's me done. I think that's me done for today, so yeah guys, thank you so much for watching the video, and I shall see you all later.